Good morning. We are here on a beautiful Friday morning. Brendan Rendo with the Holmes Orlando team. Tim Wilkerson, Hello. Home Investments. And we're here for our weekly walkthrough. Couldn't ask for a better morning though. This is gorgeous. Yeah. 75 maybe? Yep. Yep. I was joking with my buddy. He's like, oh, I had to break out my, he, he lives up in Connecticut. I had to break out my uh, winter clothing. I said, yeah, I broke out my winter flip flops today. Yeah. <laughs> They've got a little more traction than my other ones. <laughs> yeah, I had to put on my long sleeve shirt and oh, long my pants gosh. today. So we're moving along. Uh, we're at the top. Um, the top Harbor of the world. Island. Yep, Harbor Island. And as you look down, you can really see everything is really coming together. Uh, someone's been playing in the sand over here. Septic tank, <laughs> yeah. That should be covered up here in a day or so. Yep. A lot of good stuff is going. I am, I'm super hyped, just to be honest with you. It's it's really coming together. It's, it's going to look beautiful when everything is done. These four homes are in a row. It's just going to really, yeah. really shine. So it's nice. Well, let's take a look inside. The garage is a little bit of a mess, so <laughs> we'll skip yep. the garage today. <laughs> yeah, I, I might get that clean tomorrow if I can shove it in my busy to-do list. Yep. So we have got floors and we have got cabinets in. I like this flooring. When I held it individually, I mm -hmm. thought it had too much gray in it. Yeah. But it, I see a whole lot of brown. From it does rest. have some brown tint in it, doesn't it? Yeah. Which I I don't like the only gray. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it feels feels too washed out, and the and the walls have a touch of gray in it. It's not that gray that everyone else is using. It's a lighter. Got a little more white in it. It, it is. This is weathered white is what it's called. And it is white, kind of. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's got it's, a little, little yeah, just a touch, color. Of, touch you, of gray, not yeah. overkill. You can kind of see the color where the, the that it has color, where the ceiling cut line is. Yeah, yeah when we come up here. Yeah, and it's not overdone. No, it's soft. And it, but in it, because we, we don't have any electrical live right now. So, you still have plenty of light in here and you don't feel really like it's it's too dark. Dark colors close you in. It makes it feel so small and so choked. Yep. I really like this, the way this particular model, this is what, only the third one I think we've brought to this level of finish. Mm -hmm. And the again, island is gorgeous. I yeah. like the island. Again, the Deltona house, this is not yep. a Lake Mary, Heathrow house, but nope. it, the Deltona house, it fits in well. I really like it. Yeah. And I think from the other house that I looked at, you actually came over what? About 36 inches on the top in the back, maybe? Is it one extra cabinet? Maybe another 18 inches? Well, I don't, I think the back, I think the back wall is the same. Sometimes the cabinet people, in fact, often they send us an order that's a little bit buggered up uh -huh. and we try to use it try to because it otherwise work. we yeah. either got to wait a week for them to bring the correct stuff or I have to drive down. Uh, for instance, this time, this, uh, this particular island is like nine inches longer mm -hmm. than the other one and we were able to make it work. Uh, And it's still this. This is still a little bit of an issue to me. This is a little tight. But yeah, that is the one, that's the one thing. That's a that's a little tight. Yeah, I may have to do something with this because I mean, when you open up the door, yeah, it fits. But man, it fits, it's just but yeah. So that's what probably a thirty-inch door, twenty-eight-inch door. Uh, probably twenty. Yeah, probably twenty-eight. Yep. Yeah, two foot four. Yeah. But on the other hand, we're trying to get so much cabinet. Uh, I mean, this is a. 30 inch cabinet, I'm guessing. I don't have my yep. tape, but. You got the drawers? No, yeah. I got a Oh, question. I like that. Yeah, I do like that. You know what? It's, you know, I was telling you the other day, sometimes things yep. happen accidentally, and we, yep. we, and I really like that. Because I'll tell you what a lot of people prefer over the cabinets are the drawers. We just. Because I, I was curious, yeah. what if you switch that to drawers? All drawers? Or actually, yeah, or actually, I would, pro I probably would do this one. Because when people have their pots and pans, they want to, they don't want them all stacked up because they fall over. Good point. They like, they like the drawers. I like so, that. So that they can pull them out and they're right there. I like that. I, I like 
the way this turned out, and I think that you are correct. Yeah, I mean, I, I do, I love having a set of drawers. One more set of drawers over yeah. here would be sweet. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, one set of drawers next to the stove would be perfect. I think we'll, yeah. Either, actually, you could do either side because your stove is right there. Do you do one side or do you do two? Do you think you do more doors in the kitchen or more drawers? More drawers. Yeah. 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 I'll get Cody over here and go through her. Yeah. I really, the, really put a lot of. The women, the people who spend all their time yeah. in the kitchen love drawers. Yeah. Well, and Cody's got a good feel for it. She just, she really does. And, and not only that, I let her make a lot of decisions because I got enough without, <laughs> without owning every decision anymore. It's, she helps a lot. So, yeah. So this is just, this is nice. Cause then, I mean, here you are, you know, doing dishes, doing whatever. Family's there with the couch, TV's up there. You've got bar stools, you know, kids doing the homework. Yeah, room for the kids. Yeah. And you don't, you do not feel crowded at all. Yeah, this is. It's a this, nice space. It's a really nice space. Yeah, this one, you know, it'd be hard to make me like, or it'd be hard for me to like any house more than I do our St. Croix. And that's, you know, we've been doing it for 20 years. But I like this one a lot. Yeah, it's really come it's come along beautiful. Cause then we got our we got our bedrooms and our bath it's sitting back. These are coming along really nice. Wow, the bathroom's done. Oh, I love you. I love that you take the tile all the way up to the top. That really yep. gives a nice finish. It oh, does. Wow. It really does. It. it yeah, it's a big, it's one of those small things that a lot of people like, and me too. Yep. I have seen so many of the big builders' houses, and they save a buck or whatever yep. it is, or 50 bucks, where they run the tile actually a little bit below the shower head. Again, you yeah. know, being... Well, worth, you know what they're all using now are those fiberglass inserts. How cheap can, how cheap can you get? Yeah, yeah. Well, I was looking at one for a client, older client yesterday, and she can't get into the tub and it's a fiberglass insert you know where we could possibly just take out the tub and you All know right. redo it we've got to take out the entire insert for her so that she can she just needs a shower that's all she needs that's yeah you know yeah that's a i i'm just not okay with that whole in fact we changed i don't know if you have ever seen brendan we did up until not too long a year ago a year and a half ago we did a full insert here tub okay with the attached walls it yep. was a one one, yep, piece one piece unit yep and i hated it and we kept doing it because of cost and it wasn't a cheap unit yeah so it was okay and eventually it that one got so expensive that my plumber switched to a little bit of a cheaper one and, mm -hmm. I, and I just kept seeing it the, the look kept deteriorating yeah we went to this and it cost, I don't know, maybe $1,200 more or thirteen or $1,400. I don't know that we ever get that back, but I know I'm happier with it. Yeah. Some of the yeah. stuff is, you know, me being a builder. I want what- Yeah, you, you it's your name on. Yeah, I want what I oh, want wow. and yeah. and that's, yeah. But it, so much good stuff going on. I like the colors, I like the black for, for yeah. many, many years we've used the the nickel okay. and i love it but this is it gives nice contrast yeah it really does yeah yeah i'm gonna have to start building some bigger houses design designed like this mm -hmm. uh, in fact i'm working on three of them for lake butler you've heard yep. me mention that before yep. um we're gonna get up probably to 2000 2200 living which is not a big house bigger no. than big for bigger, us big, bigger yeah um, and try to get up around the six hundred thousand dollar range, uh, because of the, and we're doing it out in a rural setting, so yep. it'll be a one acre estate. Lots. Oh my gosh, those are going hard. We're going to keep doing this until forever. But I, I wanted, I wanted to branch out. And do we go cheaper houses? Do we do a smaller, cheaper mm -hmm. one? And I'm never in favor of cheaper. Yeah. Although it's a good business model for many, many people. Yep. We've, you know, I told you years ago when we started this thing, we went next to, I'll beep it out, Parks Brothers property. 
beep. <laughs> oh, the beep didn't line up. Uh, and, and I went and looked at what they did and they did an incredibly wonderful, cheap, house, horrible, <laughs> cheap house piece of house. Although they knew what they're doing. I'm sure it was a quality house, but you couldn't get it cheaper. They actually had the laminate on the floor, the 12 inch by 12 inch. You peeled a piece of paper off. Oh my system. gosh. That's oh. how bad it was. And I stood there and I said, I, I can't. didn't know they still made it. <laughs> well, I, this was when I started okay. in 2003. Okay. And, and I literally said, how do we compete with these guys? We don't. You don't. It's not worth trying. To. We went different the other market. way. Different market. And look where we're at. I mean, yep. it's yep. not that we're where we want to be. We're, we're where we can be. And we've come a long way and I love it. But point I'm getting at is I don't want a cheap house. No. No, you want your house to last and yeah. not have any problems with it. Well, and if we were doing the cheapest house in town, you wouldn't be here because you wouldn't be happily associated with it. You might be Very willing true. To, you might be willing to sell them to the people who true. were at that yeah. level. But I, I know this is a better place to be for all yep. of us. And I really like the entrance. Uh, but it's I love a, the front door. Yeah, isn't that I nice? Like, I like that front door. And we're getting that for, well, we're paying double, literally double what we're paying for our others. However, uh, we, we started ordering bulk and we're, we're getting nice. We're getting the tile, <laughs> say $9,000 on five houses of tile. Yeah. So, so write the check. I can hardly wait. This is the oh yeah the first time we've done three lights, hmm. and we'll have four corables. You can see, you know, yep. one, two, three, four, and that'll look good. I'm considering putting larger corables there. I'm not yep. sure yet, but then we get I think nine over here. Uh, anyway, yeah, I forget the okay. exact, but we get like nine of them over here. Are you putting the multicolor lights in there? So at Christmas time? No, we haven't. I don't know. I can ask to. That'd be cool though. But I'm not, yeah, I'm not quite there yet. But it wouldn't surprise me if there's a way to do that. I wonder if you do that on a controller somewhere. Yeah, a little remote control. Yeah. yeah. You know, we used to, uh, and, and during the last few years, we've done some things and then didn't do some things. We always would put, this was here, and on the back corner, we would always put, at the back opposite corner, mm -hmm. we would put a uh, security light. Okay. But we would put the security light in where it was easily removable and it had a plug in okay. for Christmas for lights. Christmas lights. We would put a receptacle up here yep. in this corner because you didn't need the security light with all this. Yeah. And we would put a receptacle slash security light back there so that the people would come plug in and you didn't that's have nice. to run a bunch of cords. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, but again, you know, every time something, the economy turns a little bit down, you determine what to cut out. Uh, I would like to put that back in, but I'm not going to. I'm just, oh, hey, let me tell you what we did do that you can, you remember many, many times we've looked at the garage and you yeah. kind of see that sore spot? Yeah. That sore spot won't have to be happening anymore. Oh. We had the stucco guy come in and we're just going to, just said, you know what? We're, it's a, you know, X amount, yep. 300 X amount house. They shouldn't be looking at a, at a sore spot. No more sore spots. And this has been a weak spot for every house we've ever built, probably. Mm -hmm. and, and we're done with it. Again, continual improvement. Yep. Yeah, I've got to get this garbage out of here. This, is, this one's ready to finish. Yeah. Uh, on the inside, um, I think we're ready for a final MEP. We just got to wait for power from Duke. Yep. Once we get power, not yet, we don't have the meter set. But uh, we're waiting on Duke to set the meter. Of course, yep. we're always waiting on Duke. When they set <laughs> <Is> that, everybody. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Yeah, then we can get um, <coughs> then we can get the uh, our final MEPs. Okay. Um, Al is working over in Umatilla on our five houses over there. Um, and then after that, he'll come back over here and he'll start dressing. Right. He'll find. He'll dress all of this. Dry. Uh, do the drive cut. Yep. Et cetera. Et cetera. Work all the way down. So. By this time next week, you'll probably see forms at mm -hmm. the drive. It probably won't be poured, but gotcha. a week or two, we'll have the drive poured. Uh, we'll have landscaping two weeks So you're gonna today. go with the cement, not the pavers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, just tell you, I would love the pavers, but I just don't think I'm, in this market, I don't think I'm ready for it. Um, now, when I get out yeah, to- Yeah, Jerome Lake hasn't Butler, been too nice to us lately. <laughs> no, no, the, uh, I know he's, yeah.
He opened his he, mouth yesterday and the market went, Pfft. I was like, oh, come on. Joe. Well, he needs to understand that they keep talking about the economy and there's a ton of money in the economy, not to get into politics. So somehow this economy has lived despite housing. Yeah. Yeah. Manufacturing has made a, a return based on what I'm hearing. Yeah. But all I'm getting at is that housing, we got to yeah. get back to where we'll housing yeah. becomes important to the economy. Um, when we do that, you know what? Yeah. It'll, it'll be back back to normal. Now, question for you. I saw that the water shut off is inside the house, which is actually really nice. So if they wanted to put a filtration system on, they that's, would hook That's it. why it's there, yes. That's why it's there. That's exactly inside right. Inside the house, instead yeah. of outside, yep. getting weather. Yeah, because I asked the plumber, why do you do that? Because normally we haven't seen that. And mm -hmm. it's like, hey, this is, this is kind of a sore spot. Why do you do that? When they explained it to me, I went like, oh, okay, another one of those good ideas yep. that I didn't think of. Yep. Another Makes good sense. idea I didn't think of. Yep. Makes sense. Shall we go yeah. see what else is going on with the other ones? Yep. So in two weeks, I'll tell you what, not Excellent. next week. Next week, you'll see a little bit of differences, but not much. Yeah. Two weeks from now, you'll probably see concrete, plants, yep. maybe even sod. Right now, we're having a little bit of difficulty <laughs> getting sod. Getting sod. But this will all be, we'll, we'll put down a bunch of wood chips out here. Mm -hmm. The septic will be covered. Yep. Yeah, this one is on the edge of Finish. flipping and finishing, yeah. Yep. And then they got the septic in. Yep, part of it's in, yeah. Yep, on the sink croy. Yeah, we gotta, once we get this covered, we gotta come, come back and dress this, <laughs> this line up, the separation between the two lots, the four foot elevation change. This is like, like being a kid again, playing oh, in man. the dirt. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, this yep. is looking great. So we've got to get the soffits on too. I got to get out to get the soffits in yep. both of these. So drain field, I see there. Are you gonna put the drain field up here? Yeah, or? right okay. up here, yeah. Okay, I was curious if you're gonna pull along the side or? No, so on these it'll be, yeah, it'll be up here. They'll have uh, the good size backyard pool if they want it. Mm -hmm. Probably the small pool there if anybody ever wanted it. Oh, these ones, definitely. You want a pool, you got a pool. You got easy space for a pool. This is a, yeah, All these yards are big enough. So we got the cabinet guys putting stuff together. Yep. Hey guys, how are you today? So we are starting to get some cabinets put together. Nice. Sides or backs? Backs. Backs. So this thing. Yeah, you see what these guys are, they're gluing. Mm -hmm. That's the way to do cabinets. Yeah. That's the way to do cabinets. Because uh, we've got, you got them against that wall there, that wall there, and then we've got the mm -hmm. island. The right island here. out here, yeah. And Daniel, this is the first one of these houses he's done cabinets on. So we went over how this island finishes out with the end of the cabinets there, mm -hmm. and this finishes out with the end of the cabinets over okay. here, and then it's still Slides up to, with the... Yeah, it's supposed to center between with these two pendant lights. Gotcha. Took gotcha. years to get all... Um, tile is supposed to be tomorrow, shower tile. Okay. No, today. Today? My gosh, you know what, I'm glad we're here. Go peek in. Ah, lazy Susan. Yep, not yet. Okay. So this is our master. Oh, yep. there's our solar I've got to get. Oh, you got to get that up on the roof. Yeah, get Valdo to come. Valdo is actually Daniel's father. Okay. Uh, they they do a lot of a lot of stuff for us. So. This is, we're, this is the same paint color, correct? Yeah. But really, it's, it's soft. It's not overwhelming. This is just, it's one of those non-offensive. Yeah, yeah, it's, and it's it, not it actually bad. has some warmth to it though, too. I, I, I like it. I, I never liked the white and I got away from the earth tones just cause everyone was doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, this this is probably, you know, where we should be for me. Yep. We, we've done a lot of houses that actually have gray, yep. a true gray and Cody is gonna do one or two of the houses down that way with it because she's she's blending and mixing things up a little mm -hmm. bit and uh so 
I'm not so much in favor of the gray, but again, she's got I'm, a good feel for I'm it. I'm actually kind of tired of it because you walk into every house and it's every house. Yeah, yeah. It's like, have you seen, have you seen the color palette at Home Depot? <laughs> <laughs> and everybody picks the same color. Come on, guys. No kidding. You'd think there, yeah, you'd think you'd walk in and you see one one color. Yeah. Oh, that's our. <laughs> Here, this is the outside, that's the inside. inside. Yep, exactly. Exactly. And I really do like the rounded co corners. Yeah. Actually, it's, kind of, it, it's, again, softens it up. Yeah. Funny you mentioned that. Cody and I were talking about that yesterday. She was feeling like it's a little old. And I said, I, I just feel like it's just a quality yeah. thing. You know what it's like? You know, because I'm an 80, you know, I uh, graduated high school in the 80s. Everything that I used to wear back then is now now back. And you're seeing kids <laughs> wear it, and you're going like, I still have that. Yeah. I have that yeah. shirt. All of a sudden, <laughs> I guess cassette tapes are back. It's like, what? <laughs> you know? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah. There's, there's, yeah, no reason. <laughs> and I, I think that there's a nostalgia with some of the kids yeah. Of today, the ones that don't hate their parents. Yeah. There's a nostalgia where they look and they go like, my dad's got this collection. And and so I think that's partly what it, it is. Yeah, it could be. And I don't know that, but I know, again, you know, I spend, thank goodness I'm so fortunate, I spend a lot of time with Cody, my daughter. And when she was growing up, Elton John, Tiny Dancer, Leave On, yep. Daniel, all those songs and stuff like that. And so she was sitting across from me the other day. We were doing some work and I turned it on and I could just see it in her face. She just looked up. It was nostalgia all yep. over. So I think, you know, yep. some of that, some of that's happening and it's cool stuff. Yeah, it's fun. It's cool for me to be able to share, you know, this is a family business. Yep. Yeah. So that's that's one of the maybe that's the best thing about it all. Well, let's sneak out our back. Yep, we, at the end of this, we always paint the garage for yep. which is kind of funny, Craig Campbell, our painter. Uh, I don't remember exactly what house he did for us first, not long, about a year now, maybe or mm -hmm. less, he's been doing it and we love him. But when we talked about, you know, him finishing, he thought he was finished. I said, well, Craig, he didn't paint the garage floor. And he says, what do you mean? Uh, literally, this guy's been painting <laughs> in, in Deltona, Deland yep. area for 40 years. Yep. And he said, Tim, I've never, never, not once. And I said, cool, because <laughs> we do every house. So you see where I'm going again. Yep. That's the theme of the, of yeah, the conversation it is. It we is. have it's... is we do so much more than others. You know what? And you'll start seeing it because we've led the way. Everybody used to do the cheap on the interior, used to not do the, mm -hmm. all the things we're doing now. Yep. They see our, anyway, they see the square foot prices and I'm not bragging, but Anyway, so yep. they all follow, and I love it. We're not an industry follower, we're an industry leader. Yep. Small little old hard work and Tim Wilkerson. <laughs> well, you build a beautiful house. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, I think she's doing, this is the light gray, she's doing a darker gray, a grant gray. Okay. On that, which is truly a fairly dark, um, and, and like I said, she'll have, she's got a good, real good. She's got a very good sense of putting she, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Putting things together. Yeah, it, it you know, really does. Um, so let me think. AC's we, going, AC's going here. Yep, yep. Now we you got, use the Goodman units, right? Yeah, yep. And they, they're not the best, but they're not weak at all. I no. mean, we haven't had any problems with. They've stepped up their game. They really have. Yeah. Yeah, they have. Well, and we see David right there putting over, oh, we skipped over the oh, stone. Yeah. We did a, a different, we went on the first house, we did the white, the white Trento yep. Crudo, which is, we had done uh, 20 houses or so okay. like that. And David has done all of our stone. Hey, David. He's been playing great music all morning. Yeah. <laughs> 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 how'd, court, how'd court go yesterday? Good. That's not today, that was yesterday? Good. You didn't get, they didn't, they didn't hold you over, right? <laughs> we like you so much, we'll keep you hanging around for a while. 
That yeah. looks good with the gray. This is, I really, that looks really, really nice like this stone. Gray. Yeah, this is really, this really, it that kills it. Really nice. Yeah, this color, this is a good color blend, don't you yeah. think? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I like now, are it. Are you just going to do it on the side of the garage? Or are you going to do any on the front? Uh, th yeah, what we call a third column. Okay. Whatever, whatever these two are, mm -hmm. Dave emulates over there. Okay. But he's got the he's got the ability to, like, if that measurement mess you know made a bad mm -hmm. edge, he would adjust it to yep. to you know. To yeah, make I was sitting watching him this morning. He's like, got the light, so to speak, the license to do what. Whatever what works. needs to be done over there. Gotcha. Without a big change up. Yeah, the, this stone is, I like it a I lot. I like it a lot. Yeah, that looks yeah. sharp. That looks really sharp. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get, yeah, we gotta get Al over and do the, uh, on the lights here, this will be another good one on the lights. This is, just okay, exactly yeah, so like got, that so we got Chandler. Four lights up here. Yeah, this is exactly like Chandler. So we'll have no corbels on the low end, mm -hmm. four spaced okay. up there. Uh, th this, yeah, this is this will be my favorite house forever. That yep. not this address, but this right. the St. Croix. This will yep. always be my favorite house. Oh look, you give a uh, garage door opener uh garage door opener <laughs> by the way also battery backup yep that's and right that's yeah. what i always love to be able to tell the the when if i'm here when a realtor is here with their yep. client I, you know me being proud of what we do i walk around and i say and don't forget you one night your wife will come home it'll be dark it'll be raining it'll yep. be storming the kids will be in with her there'll be no street lights on the power will be out yep your garage door is going to open. Yep. That's you very push true. the button. You don't even realize it. Just things look different. Yep. You push the button. The, it opens. You come in, but yet your lights won't work in the house or whatever, yep. unless you add a generator. Yep. But what I'm getting at, it's a safety feature. See, oh, yeah. Definitely. I, I love it. And and you, know the, you know the storms we get. So oh, my God. Yeah. How yeah. many times does that really happen? A few. A few. A few during the year. A couple of times a year. But yeah. what I'm getting, it's a safety thing. Yeah. Love it. This is going to be a great block. Yeah. Yeah. I've got yes. to get some palms to go in between like we talked about. Yep. It's time for me to start doing the yeah. thing maybe My that I enjoy. said the foxtail. You have to use the yeah? foxtail. Yeah? Nice. You said the foxtail. Yes. Because uh, that's, I might put the foxtail in front. Uh, I'll go look. I'm supposed to pick them up today. We'll, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. The foxtail is a good looking. It's a nice looking palm. And it's a vibrant palm. Yeah. You don't have problems with it. Nice. We still got two left to go. Another St. Croix, another Harbor Island. It is fun to see the different stages. It really is, yeah. We've had... Hey, how are you today? Oh, good. Hey, how you doing, buddy? We've had a little bit of difficulty here. I think I was telling you the, the drywall people. Mm -hmm. The guy that was the field guy. Yeah. Had a heart attack about maybe two weeks ago and he passed away about 10 days ago you know how tragic uh, and so we had problems getting this one hung and then getting it finished and of course we're ex yeah. yeah fine and i mean we don't call and you know we called and gave condolences and just said hey do what you can yeah. etc but you know uh we're still we're still so it looks like they've got maybe one or two coats on the scenes up here. Um, this is probably the last one. This will be their third coat. Um, it looks like they might even be finished and leaving. Yep. Um, so we might get texture this weekend. I will call Check and try schedule. to, uh, I need to talk to Cody and uh, figure out yeah, how, whether we're... Always, always nice to see a nice, clean electrical panel. Yeah. Some Especially, of the ones I've seen during home inspections. I'm, I'm sure you're right. And you know, in the attic, another thing is when you go up there, they run them square. They don't mm -hmm. run them like just... Willy-nilly all over Craziness, place. yeah. Yep. And, and I've been in attics where it's run crazy like that, and you're trying to 
store something up yep. there and you don't even have room because of darn wire that's stretched like a piano the, string. Oh, the whole, yeah, the whole length of the, yeah. of the attic. And it never runs along a truss or it's not coordinated. It always just goes point A to point B, straight line, and there's a spaghetti maze up there. Yep. Well, that's see, lack of professionalism. See, seen that a few times. Yeah, but again, that's, you know, when you don't pay the subs enough to be able to do it right, they won't they won't go that extra step or two. I won't even say that extra mile. Yeah. But so this is, yeah, after yeah. it dries, it's, it's ready for good. it. You can see, still a little wet up there. Yep. So leave the doors, crack the windows, and let her dry. Are you gonna round the corners in this one too, you think? Did. Oh, they did do it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, they didn't. What's going on here? Yeah, did it over here. Um, okay. yeah, I'll have to have, I need to talk to Cody, have her come out and look at some of this and make those phone calls. Yeah, because we got the, we got it rounded over here on this, this one over here as well. Hmm. Uh, trench for the electrical. backwards. I think we're behind schedule on these if I'm not mistaken for power. For power. Oh my gosh, my poor neighbor. The other day had a problem with power. They had to have one crew, one company come out to dig the trench, one company come out to locate, one company come out to actually hook up the wire, one company come back. And I'm just, I was like sitting there laughing, like, oh my God. They, that's how they do this. And so this simple thing takes five crews and yeah. two or three weeks. Yeah. There were four or five trucks in front of his house. All different companies, and I'm like, well, what's going on? <laughs> like, Ron, what happened? Oh, we had a problem, a power distribution problem with our house, da da da. And I think they ended up, they ended up frying like his microwave, a um, couple of clocks in the house, and his AC unit. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Yeah, it ended up costing Duke more than uh, they wanted, that was for sure. Goodness gracious. Let me take a picture of this. The, this particular dividing wall doesn't have the corner bead on it, so I've got to send this to Cody. Yep. We're at the third house, this is yeah. 764. Yep. But that's why you walk through them. That's why we do this, yep. and I never spend enough time on it, although I just don't, I don't have enough time, but oh well. Yeah, we got the uh, we got the rounded around the window. Hey, Cody. This picture is a picture of the wall near the pantry <coughs> at seven sixty four Liskard. Please get a hold of Florida Wall Systems. Tell them they need to bring some some of the rounded corner bead out here and get this beaded up and installed ASAP. Also check on when they're going to texture this. Sorry about that. No. That's that's the reality of yeah. construction. This is the good stuff. You see all the stuff we go yeah. through and that's some of the stuff that is, you know, it's a little frustrating because it's, you know what I mean. Yep. It's, it's, yeah, you, you've got it every place else. Why would you not? Yeah. But we won't hold the whole house up over it. We'll still. Yeah texture and spray and everything else come back and address that ind individually and and it'll all be fine yep. i can't let that small stuff bother me or else i wouldn't live through the day <laughs> oh last house one more you know what i should do i should send you uh i've been working on you've heard me mention yep. numerous times lake butler mm -hmm. uh, i should I want to finish the houses that I'm going to, that I plan on building there. Mm -hmm. 
In my markups, I started marking up the French Air States houses we haven't done. I, I don't know anything about them other than somebody gave them to me and suggested it, so I'm looking at them. And, and I'm going to write up a program. I should send that to you. Yeah, I'd love to check. Look at it. Yeah, I'll let you it. check the address and advise me on. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, well, no, I'd, I'd love to do that for some, you. Yeah, something yeah. here might work, something, et cetera, et cetera. Because uh, we're on these, we're close to. Yeah. That one, 772, is two weeks away from finishing touches, and then it takes two weeks to. You're gonna beat your deadline. Yeah. Well, yeah, we are. You know, let's see, what is this? this is the twentieth? So November. Yeah. Yeah. This will be. A, that'll be a Thanksgiving house. Yep. Uh, then the one behind it, a week or two, and then this one, a week or two behind that. So we might beat. Yeah. The like deadline. we were discussing on, earlier when you build. Yeah. Get that rolling two week. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's been going pretty well. For oh. some reason, I always feel like the distance between these two houses is bigger than the other two. It is, and it would have been even greater. That I originally designed that one closer over there, and and it just didn't work. So when we after we staked it out, uh, we moved it, which is you know that's why, yeah. again, like you said, that's why we come look before we do certain things. Uh, this house is going to be the white. This one will look just like the one up top. The one at the top. Mm -hmm. The same exterior color, I think and the same interior color but that one will have gray cabinets on the inside okay so uh, a lot of people like those i like the gray a lot the best house we did from my perspective had the white exterior the weathered white mm -hmm. which is the same thing you've been seeing yep. and then had the gray cabinets and the black trim you know it yeah, really, really it just top. snapped and yep. so that's what this one's supposed to look like yep uh, because I think this is the one that's going to have the gray interior color. Dark gray outside, light gray, gray inside. What color cabinets? White? White. White. Yep. With the black trim. Okay. Quartz, uh, quartz countertops? Yep. yep. Same quartz, which I really, I really like that. I, we had done granite for many, many years. And the quartz is a nice material. It, yeah. You know, the, the countertop guy talked us into it. Um, a little bit extra money, but... Uh, you know Again. what's funny? Until it became popular, you speak cheaper. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's another one of those ideas that somebody else came up with that, that helps me. Yep. Oh, it looks like they were doing some drywalling in here. Yeah, there's a ton of scrap. Oh, thank goodness. I'll have to call Cody about scheduling here when right after we finish. So, Stucco still looks a little wet here. It's like, whoops. Shouldn't. They did this one the other day, so. Yeah. yeah it's taking a little longer to dry. Mm, yeah, maybe it is uh, for some reason, yeah. It looks, actually looks you know different. Oh, different finish. I, I was just going to say, I wanted to ask you, let's, on the way out of here, let's compare this to the house next door and see what you think. The, these last, oh, not this one. The first two was mm -hmm. done by a company. The second the three and four mm -hmm. was done by a different company. Okay. And I was wanting an outside yeah. viewpoint because I already got a viewpoint from Cody and what yeah. I think. So I was wanting to see if you if it was if you thought it was noticeable and clearly Oh yeah, I can definitely tell. Yeah, because I think the other this one's is, finer. This is a better yeah. I mean it just yeah. But in, in particular after paint, that's when I really judge it. But uh have you take a look yeah. at it again. Now I see the way it's it's scraped here, so stone. Stone, yep. All the way in here. Yep, this will be just like the first one. Okay. Stone, each side of the uh, garage door, mm -hmm. and then at the entry. So, gotcha. yeah. Yeah. Yep. You gotta order some more stone. Looks like they probably finished hanging that, I'm guessing, yesterday afternoon. Yeah. Oh, a screw inspection. Hey, they actually swept and cleaned up. Yeah. Gotta I like it. <laughs> most of our subs do, you know, most of our subs over the course of the years, we've got them lined up where we need them. Yeah, and this is what we were talking about, those 12 foot sections, man, they just pop them up. Tell you what, it's a nice, it's a nice job. Pretty tight all they, the way around. It's admirable. It's very, it's well done drywall. Yeah. Very, very yeah, I mean, well done. When you come over and you, 
you know, you look at the gaps in the seams. Yeah, and yeah. to the ceiling. Yep. Absolutely, very well done. These guys are good. Yeah, they did, they did a nice job. It, you notice those things. Oh, I did not notice that before. Smoke detector. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, they did. They did a very nice job hanging. So screw inspection scheduled for. Uh, not not actually sure. I've got to check that because we were having a little bit of problems with the drywall oh, yeah. people. Oh, so true. we were yeah. kind of inching forward right. instead of scheduling like we normally do. It looks good. And you can you could you can see it going basically every house is about two weeks difference in finishing. Yeah. Which is yeah, which is just about right. And that's why I was saying to everybody, we don't need to sell six houses in mm -hmm. in a month. It's actually be better, you know, a couple of months, which is what yep. I would prefer. Come out nice. Well everyone, thanks for joining us and we will see you again next Friday. Any questions, feel free to reach out and we will follow up with you. And it's time to start thinking, you know, do you want one of these houses? Let us know. Take care. Once I get on the MLS, I'll go quick. Yep. <laughs>